all these three vaccines are uh, you know safer no major undesirable effect that you know it should not be used you know it's been safer to use so coming to covid shield uh, you know what we have seen and as well as from the public data is uh, these uh, persons who receive that you know they can have pain around uh, 2 to 5% can develop a fever uh, from the next day for a couple of days which resolves very well with ordinary simple antipyretics like uh, paracetamol and less than 1% sometimes can develop a swelling you know for a couple of days and that goes away you know this is uh, coming to this covaxin uh, which is developed in india by bharat biotech in collaboration with the uh, indian council of medical research which is a kill vaccine you know from the virus so where again similarly type of adverse effects had been uh, reported like pain fever there is nothing major uh, untoward uh, to show that the sputnik uh, vaccine where uh, it has been developed in russia which uh, many of you know that now it's been developed uh, in india in partnership uh, with russian uh, collaborators but again uh, the clinical trial data has very clearly have shown it has been very safe and there is no untoward effects have been seen except this pain and fever similar like uh, covid shield and uh, uh the uh, covaxin so to put all this together these vaccines are very safe i strongly recommend everyone should get the vaccine because the benefits are huge as compared to the harm any manifestations related to neurological or an hs pain which is again not related to vaccine you know it could be an incidental finding then you should seek your uh, your doctor your family doctor and you should go with their advice these vaccines have been developed uh, only since this january uh, 2000 um, uh, uh, 21 it's been been available so anyone who has been taken you know i have taken this vaccine in jan 2021 it's only a 5 months old data we all do have so so this very clearly shows that people who have taken this 5 months they have not uh, developed any other uh, long term complications so it's been safer so we are not recommending any specific medications to take uh, either before or after a vaccination but anyone who is uh, taking any other medication especially for diabetic medications or hypertensive medications or medication for thyroid disease or cancer or for hiv or tuberculosis they should continue to take those medicines they should not stop anything there is no contraindication that they should stop any medication i think even after the vaccination everyone uh, should take the uh, follow the covid appropriate behavior masking and physical distance it's extremely been important and uh, i strongly advise people should complete the two dose of vaccine that is very very important based on the guidance given that is covaxin up to 28 days so the first dose and if it is a covid shield in a time from 6 weeks to uh, before 12 weeks uh, they should uh, do those vaccination 